Sometimes I record more direct. <laughs> so, a viewer said a hardcore talk. <laughs> uh, I, I laughed when I read that comment. I love the hardcore talk. This firm softness. <laughs> And sometimes I feel like recording gentler talk, and this is this is one of them. This is one of those talk. So there is no separation. This is an energy field that we are all sharing, this uh, existence is not separate. We're sharing this energy field. All of that is appearing in consciousness. In that consciousness, there's only one consciousness and you are that. So in that consciousness appears the whole world. So each of us is a point of view of consciousness. And if we nourish compassion and love in our life if we allow ourselves to express and to create and to be who we are there is joy of being it's very very simple and if we block ourselves and if we if we adopt the thought that we can't do this or shouldn't be this way or we're living from effort in not being trying to become a better being, but you are already being, you're already perfect. <laughs> being is already perfect. So when we, when we live in the idea that something better will happen at some point, and I might find something that will make me feel better, we live in the constant anxiety or hopelessness of not finding that which for which we're looking for but that for which we're looking for is being is our being and it's already here before we start to search for something else so if each and every one of us can find their way back to that which is already what is the joy and the love that is flowing from that is is natural and that has an effect on the energy field on the whole so you being in joy you being happy you being unashamed of happiness you being yourself Is not is not violent. It's not a fight. Being yourself is not fighting, defending. You being you <laughs> is the best thing you can do. The most powerful thing to change the world because we are the world. You are the world. This feel that we are sharing will not be elevated by fear, will not be elevated by doubt, by shame, by restriction, by defending, by fighting. This field can only be elevated by being dissolved of ignorance, by removing ignorance. And it cannot be found outside. So you have to find it inside yourself first. If there is an aspect of myself that has not been fully embraced, then that aspect of myself outside, seemingly outside, cannot be fully embraced. And it has to continue to exist it will rest 
when it is fully accepted and recognized. And once it rests inside you, it rests around you because you have no conflicting energy to divide yourself, to divide yourself inside and to divide yourself outside. And that is not personal. That is not personal. The person has to be melt in unconditional love for that unconditional love to permeate through you. So what the mind is looking for is the absence of itself. And the mind can never be unconditionally loving, can only be divided. It's limited. You can even have compassion for the mind. It cannot know its source. But you are not the mind, so you can recognize source. Infinite consciousness. That in which the mind is born, that from which it's born, and it's not really born, it's we could say it's coming and going, arising and dissolving. So the outside world is real and not real at the same time. Nothing, there's nothing outside. So if you want, if you are interested in the peacefulness of your own being, your true nature, you could start by recognizing that everything that is in your direct experience is appearing in your consciousness. And that there is not another existence somewhere else that exists in a wing somewhere else while it is not directly in your experience. This split world that we feel there is this world of which I am directly aware. And there is also this other world outside that is happening at the same time. But if you, if you look closely, you can only exist in this moment here now. So existence, you are the totality. Existence exists here now. And if that existence is filled with thought about the world, then that is your existence, that is your experience here now. And when the thought about the world is not there and you are looking at a flower, that existence is looking at a flower. But we are conditioned to believe that there is some kind of other existence that exists while consciousness is not there, like it's a separate existence somewhere, but it's a thought. So it is real and not real at the same time. That's where non-duality is confusing for the mind. So it is real that this energy field that we are experiencing right now is full of fear is full of scarcity, is full of suffering. It's, it's a reflection of our state of consciousness. And if no one elevates their consciousness to truth, we will continue to suffer that world. But if more and more people start to realize there is non-separation, and from that realization, safety, an absence of anxiety, an absence of panic attack, an absence of suffering is possible. Because at some point, when all has been 
fully accepted within yourself, all that is left is love. And that may be uncomfortable to sit with the shame, to sit with guilt, to sit with anger, to sit with hatred and rage and to sit really sit and fully welcome that aspect of self or mind to be to be that wider space of presence so open without any judgment without any opinion into which these energy are allowed to come and go and it is my experience that when they are fully allowed without resistance, all that is left is pure emptiness, love. That is what you're looking for. And that is what the mind is not. Self-realization and the process of awakening may seem complicated, but it's not. It's to become so open that there is no division inside yourself first, which then reflects from outside of yourself. And it is very ordinary. Nothing, nothing will happen. If the mind projects, when there will be awakening, when I will be awake, there will be this and there will be that. And if I was awake, I wouldn't suffer. And all of this has to be seen through for the illusion that it is. There is not going to be a huge firework. Don't wait for that. It's very ordinary. It's more like... How could I really believe a thought? I know I did. How could I really, really engage the mind and believe a thought fully as if it is really, really reality? An ordinary human experience continue, but it's embraced in a mm, spaciousness that is ever present. It is already ever present, but it is veiled by the adoption of the identity of me. Me always need to defend itself. Always need to be seen, always need to be loved. Me dissolve in love. Me mind. So the solvent will always be love. <laughs> Self-love, self-respect, self-acceptance, with a capital S. And even if I were to say, I hope you find this, it doesn't mean anything. You can't find it. It's already here. Surrender the mind and trust being more and more. And faith will grow with seeing what happened when my perspective is not of the me, when my perspective is of presence, impersonal presence. That's not me that is present. There is no me being present. There is only presence. Clarity. You still deal with the same situation with more clarity, more efficiency, more joy. Without the static of the mind that is talking, talking, talking.
nothing will die. You will still have access to me. You, the me, you will still have access to the me. You still have access to the mind. It's just that instead of being enslaved underneath the mind, the mind will start to serve being. The mind will start to align and serve being. If you start to function from intuition, you're guided by infinite intelligence and the mind is a tool of which you have access to create, to live this life. So there is no death of me. Mine is a, an optional mandatory tool. Non-mandatory. It's not mandatory. It's an optional tool that you engage when you need it. You don't need it all the time. It doesn't have to be painful. Sometimes it is. It doesn't have to be. more of an expansion it's an upgrade it's not a downgrade <laughs> it's an upgrade it's accessing the oper operational system it gets to be upgraded so now if you are uh, identified with mine you are operating with a small operational system it's very tight and if you start to bring more awareness, your operational system gets upgraded to a better, more open, more efficient, and more clear. It feels clear because nothing is searched for. Only the mind is searching for something. Searching for the end of suffering, searching for awakening, searching for understanding, seeking. The mind is the seeking mechanism. You're not the seeker. You are the awareness that is aware of the seeking mechanism. The mind is never, never happy. Happiness doesn't come from anything else than being or peace. Happiness of being, the natural state. Very, very simple. Okay, so this one is the soft talk. A firm softness. Start to feel center. That's quite accessible. You start to feel center and grounded and clear. You're not thrown left to right. You stay center in being vertical. You're not thrown left to right to the linearity of time and before and later. Don't take it as a belief. Experientially test in yourself and it will lead you back home where you already are if you don't consent to taking the ride of thoughts, the roller coaster. Okay, bye-bye.